Now that you are familiar with the function of muscle, let's look at the composition. We're going to start superficial and move towards the deep components of the muscle. Contrary to belief, the muscle isn't just one big piece of tissue. It's made up of many bundles all covered in various fascia. Fascia is a thin, fibrous and very strong tissue that wraps itself in between and around everything in the body. It is super important due to the fact that it connects everything together. This connectivity means that from a movement perspective, body parts can influence other body parts, even though they don't seem related. For example, during the foot swing phase of walking, the fascia that surrounds the foot and other structures will have an influence on the shoulders. Fascia also helps to keep structures intact. Without it, all our muscles and other tissues would flop around, much like a sausage without its skin. Next time you are preparing chicken breasts for dinner, check out the fibrous tissue between the skin and the muscle. That is fascia. The muscle belly is the large soft part of the muscle and is covered by epimysium, a fancy word for a type of fascia. The muscle belly consists of many bundles of fibres and they are covered by perimysium. Within these bundles, which are comprised of muscle fibres, the groups of fibres are surrounded by more fascia called the endomysium. Hopefully you are now starting to appreciate just how much fascia is in our body. The muscle fibres, which incidentally are also called muscle cells, are comprised of myofibrils, which are comprised of two particular proteins called actin and myosin. And this is the level that muscle contraction occurs.